What is up, guys? We are live with the updated tournament tutorial. Guys, if you need to hop over to a specific section, please make sure you check the description down below. You'll be able to see the timestamps and just locate the problem that you're having or the assistance that you need at a much faster pace. Top, you have organized play, upcoming events, tournament results. So if you're looking for an upcoming event, all you got to do is scroll down here. You'll be able to see all the upcoming events coming up as well as some links. And then for tournament results, you'll be able to see your results. And if you have your invite here, um, so results for Yu-Gi-Oh, results for Dragon Ball, invites for Yu-Gi-Oh, invites for Dragon Ball. Remember, that's a free player's championship happening in May for whichever game you're on. So let's hop into one of these upcoming events. We have the free weekly tournament. We have free weekly tournaments for Yu-Gi-Oh and Dragon Ball. This is a Yu-Gi-Oh one here, here. So we'll be able to, uh, on this page, you'll be able to see register now, which is where you click to register. You'll see a little countdown until when it happens. So if you're in a different time zone or something like that, you need to know exactly, you know, how many days away it is, boom. Useful links and information. You're definitely gonna wanna watch the video. So this video, you'll be able to find it here. Uh, the Discord invite link is going to be right here you need discord is required to enter these events and then this is just an example of how the deck list looks like for Yu-Gi-Oh when you submit it so it's going to be a hyperlink example of a deck and that's exactly how your deck should look in a hyperlink and then you'll be able to see all the information as far as prizes cost tournament details exactly how many rounds it's ever going to be how much top cut it's ever going to be tournament type table this is going to be followed to to pretty much to the t granted any type of irregular circumstances is exactly you could even this is so accurate that you can put a timer on your phone so you know exactly when and things to contact your opponent penalties and dropping what happens if you get dc'd registering for the tournament downloading best coast pairings and of course a live stream for each event so Let's go into register now. We just went from the website and now we'll be able to go over to bestcoastpairings.com. This is gonna be able to, on the mobile device or on the web, whichever way you can register this way. You'll. This is just a summarized description of what you read before on the much lengthier page. You'll be able to see a list of registered players. So after you register, if you don't see your name on this list, then you did something wrong. Reach out to us and we'll be able to fix it. You could even put a team here if you like. So we're gonna go here and register. As soon as we click register here, it's gonna give ask us for some information. Player email, please make sure you put an email that you have access to. This is gonna be very important to check any type of refunds or things like that. So make sure you put your real email here, one that's accessible, your first name and last name. Now this is important, guys. You're gonna to wanna to use your Discord slash dueling book, uh, either first name or last name. So for me, my Discord is PPG Machado, and oh, not PP. <laughs> and my last name, uh, la for last name is Dueling Book Name. So I believe my Dueling Name is also PPG Machado. But if it was something else, for example, if my event's name was like PPG Events, that's what I would put for my last name. Now it doesn't really matter the order. It's just important that you have both Discord and your Dueling Book or Octagon or Untap any type of like. Wherever you're playing your game on, whatever your username is on there, you wanna have that included in here. It actually doesn't matter, as you can tell, doesn't matter what my actual first and last name here. You just wanna make it easy to find your opponent so that you don't waste valuable time. And people can also find you on Dueling Book if they wanna stream your match. That's the only way to do that in the Dueling Book platform. Club name, this is where you would put your team. So if you had a team, you can go ahead and put that on there. That's not mandatory. That's optional, as you can see. And then all you have to do after you put in an email here is click reserve my spot. As you see, once we put the email in here, everything is ready to go. And we're going to get this lovely registration confirmation. So this is going to give us a confirmation number here, which you don't ever really need. Uh, the event link, just in case you need to backtrack back to the event. Now, you'll be able to upload your list on this screen. As you can see, type slash paste your link here, and I'm gonna do an example. So if I'm a Yu-Gi-Oh player, my platform is duelingbook.com. You'll be able to see this is the hyperlink, deck ID, blah, 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 blah. And then Dragon Ball, if you're a Dragon Ball player, normally use Shenron's Lair, 
this is exactly how it's going to look. So if I go to these hyperlinks, I'll be able to see an image view of my deck, and that's exactly what you want to do. You don't need to type out anything. You need to you don't need to upload an image, a screenshot, nothing. You'll just paste one of these links here, depending on what game you're in, and you'll just click the submit text. Now, this is for submitting your deck right on registration. If you already know what you're going to be playing 100% or you're signing up very last minute and you don't want to go through submitting the list on the app, we will be going over how to submit the list on the app in the different section of this video. But this is how you do it at registration. You don't have to do it at registration, but this is how you would do it if you did. Once you finish registering, you're going to want to go to your appropriate Play Store, so either iTunes if you're on Apple or Google Play if you're on Android you're gonna want to look for best coast pairings it's gonna look it's gonna come up under BCP player so you're gonna download the BCP player not the BCP tournament organizer so once you have the BCP player installed you're gonna go ahead and open that up this is what you're gonna be greeted with now you have a little menu to the side where you're really just gonna be able to navigate between two very important parts now you have the my events which you'll see the event under but then there's profile so if you did not change for some reason if you registered incorrectly with your name and you actually put your real first and last name or whatever the case is you can actually go ahead and change that information here so if I wanted to go ahead and make sure that my discord name or my dueling book name was on here on both sides then I can go ahead and get in here and change that however way I want and then click save changes so that's very important next thing you're going to want to look at is my events so once you go to my events you'll be able to see any current events so obviously we have no current events right now but we do have an upcoming event the one that we just registered for so if we go to upcoming events we'll be able to see our pro play tour Yu-Gi-Oh online circuit free tournament so from there this is how you're going to be be able to look at the pairings and lists and all that stuff now normally when you access this it'll probably show in current events if your event is happening that day. Now I can go ahead and I have a few different options here. I have check-in, player details, roster, pairings, and placings. Okay. So what you're going to want to do here, if you didn't submit your list already, you're going to want to submit your list this way by going to player details. So you go to player details and I can go ahead and paste my list right here where it says army list. I can go ahead and paste my list and boom submit pasted list and I'll be set to go now up here you can see the self score pin this is an uh, a pin that it doesn't matter what it is honestly you can make it one 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 there's no security really for this but it does need to be a four digit pin and this is your digital signature this is how you're going to be reporting your results to your opponent once you beat your opponent or lose to your opponent this is the pin that they're going to ask you for to report the match manually so I can go ahead and go here save player edits I also have the option of dropping from the event from here too. So I can drop myself. I can reset my pin however many ways, uh, however many times I want. If I don't remember setting it, it was probably set for me by the tournament organizer. And that's pretty much for the player, uh, the player details. Now, if we go back here to our events upcoming, you'll be able to get back to this screen. Once you're all ready and you submitted the list, you can go ahead and check yourself in. That'll make sure that you have your pin and all that stuff. Now, the next thing you're going to want to look at is the pairings. So when your pairings go up, you'll be able to see click pairings and you'll be able to actually see who you're matched up against, etc., etc. Placing, same thing. You'll be able to see what your placings are after each round. And after the tournament, you'll be able to see if you made top cut. And then roster will show you all the players that have signed up whether they've checked in or not and whether they've submitted their list so you can see right here this green icon means that they submitted the list this red icon means that they have not submitted a list yet the final step discord okay guys i know a lot of you are new to discord i was new to discord i was super confused at the at the start but this is what you'll normally get the invitation to you'll get landed here in this welcome page which will be greeted by bot guy over here he'll tag you he'll say hey welcome He'll tell you about the two different type of main channels. So it's DBS and Yu-Gi-Oh. So you can just chat about anything in those channels. Uh, then you'll be able to go ahead and check out this sweet new video. And this video is going to be updated. So this is our first video. So you'll see the new video here. Then you'll see the two general discussions. So each one of these are split up by category. 
So the first thing you want to look at is on the side here. These are all the different uh, servers that you're a part of. If you're new to Discord, ours will be the only server. But I'm part of quite a few different type of servers here. So you'll be able to see the server and any notifications that you might have from like being tagged or anything like that. So uh, once you accept that invite, it'll land you in the welcome. And then from there, you can just click on any one of these and you'll be able to hover into all these sub channels. And then these are the, like the categories. So uh, we have general discussion here. So if you wanted to discuss things, you would go to, you know, your appropriate channel there. Judge Lounge, if you need to judge rulings, this is where you put your judge rulings. So if you need rulings for Dragon Ball, put them here. If you need Yu-Gi-Oh, put them here. You won't get any rulings if you put them anywhere else. So make sure you're talking in the right channel to make sure that you can get the appropriate response. Now we have Dragon Ball Super Tournaments and Yu-Gi-Oh Tournaments. So like I said, if you're in one of these tournaments, if you're an eight, if you're in an eight man, if you're in a weekly championship, if you're in a free weekly, you know, for DBS, they'll all be here. Same thing for Yu-Gi-Oh, they'll all be here. Next is the voice channels. So these I recommend you use. Uh, you can, it doesn't matter if you're playing Dragon Ball and you use a dueling book one. It, it really is, it's not too much of significance, but this is here so that you don't have to add your opponent on Discord to initiate a voice call. This is a public room for voice. So I can click on any one of these and you'll see me pop up right here and you'll see this green uh, circle around. That means I'm, I'm currently talking into this channel. If somebody else hops into this channel, I'll be able to hear them and they'll be able to hear me. This is a great way of playing online by not exactly having to use the chat and maybe expediting your game because now you can just talk verbally or any type of miscommunications you kind of prevent those by joining these voice channels and telling your opponent to meet you in one of these voice channels as you can see everybody's highlighted in in the same role that they're in so Yu-Gi-Oh players are red and then Dragon Ball players are uh, green and if you need to tag people you can go ahead and do so by uh, just clicking on their comment right here and you can go quote uh, and you can even tag certain roles like you can go at judge and they'll tag all the judges all the judges are right here in the side so if you're looking for a judge if you're looking for a tournament organizer you can go at tournament organizer or you can just at their specific name uh, you can at judge or at their specific name etc etc you can at your opponent's role remember you're gonna be able to know who your opponent is on discord if they filled out the registration correctly that is it that concludes our online tournament tutorial for our online circuit make sure you guys check out ppgevmanagement.com for the entire season as you know we have three different type of events going on every week we have our free weekly tournaments um, we have our eight man daily tournaments which can range from winning a specific prize to winning cash to winning store credit you can find all the details in each event description and these happen on the daily and these are within 48 hours free weeklies happen all in one day eight mans happen on demand with 48 hours to schedule each game or each round and then we have the weekly championships which happen every weekend and those are usually the higher prizing higher entry but higher prizing and higher invites and what are you playing for you're playing for the players championship which for Yu-Gi-Oh happens May 9th and 10th and for Dragon Ball happens May 2nd and 3rd and yes those players championships are invite only and they're completely free with prizes supplied by our sponsors so that pretty much does it for this online tutorial thank you for everyone who's been making season one a success so far we're about three weeks deep and we've had over 300 unique players between our entire organized play of the online sphere and we appreciate all the support so far so thank you guys again for working with us till next time stay safe